mechanics, your kinetics, your, your physiology, your anatomy, it all gets a bit, it's got to be in secret. It's got to be in secret. So what Prince has invented is a, is a harness that can help you identify not clearing, keeping it all together, keeping that mechanics together, and, and, and containing your kin that kinetic energy in the power finish. Right? It's going to have quite a few years in the making. Yeah, quite a few years in the making. So with that, um, Clint deals all around the world with his kids, but I'm going to try and tap in a bit of his knowledge with these guys, and I think it's really good. And when you actually hit in front of Clint, right, it's really important with these coach that you hit in front of. You don't overswing, you don't try and do too much. What you do is you get loose, get a little bit of a free swing going, and let it flow, right? Let him have a look at it. Let him have a look. If you're swinging and missing, don't worry about it, because we can, we can fix that. Good sweep, yes? Yeah? Otherwise, the guys, you know, just trying too hard in front of the coach is safe. So, you know, it's chat to me about how you guys get a lot of information from coaches, right? Um, well, this is good. What you've got to do is, then, is to take in little parts from here and there, right? But what a lot of coaches are doing is they're coaching uh, particular sub parts for hitting, right? Uh, a lot of coaches like to coach the home run swing, which is good. But sometimes when you're facing a good state league pitcher, he's not going to hang one, right? You'll be spotting it, slide it down the way up and in, and that little home run swing doesn't help you there. State league, especially, you only get one, two games a week, two or bats a week. You can't really afford to be in like the major leagues and strike out three times a game. So it's not the same, it's not the same league. College too, I won't accept it. So that is a more of an advanced level stuff that is byproduct of the foundation, which is what I'll teach you. I'll tell, what we'll do is over so the next few weeks, I'll teach you how to teach the hit the hardest pitches. So hitting easy, hit, hitting the one down the middle is going to be easy. All right. So in other words, it's kind of like swing adjustments. So a particular coach will tell you, maybe when you're hitting in a, in a game or something, I'll say, oh, make, make adjustments. Right? I'm going to teach you how to make the adjustments. Um, and that's with your mind and body part and all that stuff. But um, what we'll do first is a quick exercise. Has everyone got a bat or just grab a bat? Even Boris, you're not going to hit. Because this will save time, because I know a lot of you kids will um, yep. have the same problem. So face me, get your chair. Uh, no, the other way, like, so you're going to be like this. There you go. So I can have a look. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, everybody get your set. Just like your normal set. All right, cool. Now, for the purpose of today, all right, just today, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the, we call the very uh, the foundation, which is being able to hit that hard fastball, right? So when you hits the fan in a big game and you got their number one pitcher, uh, it might be an import or something, throw it close to 90 for you guys, up on you, this, this is what you're going to fall back onto, that swing adjustment, in order to hit that pitch. Because if you're lacking confidence to hit that pitch, you're done. You throw it too hard. As soon as you, don't, as soon as you fly that, you're done. Right? But if you've got something to fall back on, which is, what we're going to do here at the start, right? You can go up there and you know you can handle that pitch, it changes things, all right? And when the pitcher knows that, it turns the table, right? Then now all of a sudden they're scared. And that's what you want, right? You don't want to be scared, you want the pitch to be scared. So if that pitcher knows that he's got you with his fastball, and he'll just like, here you go, hit this. Swing and miss. Here's another fastball, straight down the middle. Boom. Swing and miss. Oh, another one. Boom. Next step back, what's he going to do? Another one. Boom. And you'll strike out three times. Is that what you want? Or do you want to learn how to hit that pitch? This is how you learn how to hit. So spread out. So follow me. So about uh, just a little past, little past shot of it. Okay, so we're going to minimize. In order to hit that pitch, you can minimize movement. So we're going to teach you how to hit small movement. All right, and then you can learn how to hit with big movement. All right, because unless you know how to hit with small movement, you won't be able to hit with uh, doing that stuff. Right? You can't uh, run before you walk, kind of thing. You know. So you spread out. All right. Short width. What we're going to do is get your weight on the inside balls of your feet. So you're kind of like, like on your toes a little bit. Almost, if I'm exaggerating, I might see how my feet are like this. But so you work in your muscles that are in the inside, um, uh, like your inner thighs in here. So you want to engage those muscles right there. So you balance, you know? You want to be on your heels, all right? Because you fall off balance and you don't want to be too far over. You want to be in that spot if you're going to tackle somebody or something like that. But you don't need two down. You want to be down here because you come back up. You're in your knees, but knees kind of pointing inwards slightly. 
Right there, good look. Straight in, feet straight. Take your feet. You want to like step out, keep one foot in. You do it, step, step out. Like keep your um, your uh, backside leg in when you turn on. Step back in. So you check that foot straight. Step in. Spread out. Check that other foot straight. You do this yourself every time you hit, and then kind of get that uh, balance engaging your core. Okay, so that's whatever stance your um, front foot straight. Don't open up, there you go. So if you open up, we're starting straight. Okay, and opening up is another thing which I'll get on, I don't, I don't like. That's uh, something that you can do when you're an advanced hitter, but uh, when you're starting off and you're opening up your stance, that shows you're scared to hit the inside fastball. So the only way you, you think that you can hit it is by opening up, but it doesn't make it worse. Because then you start getting problems with diving back into the plate, inconsistencies with where you land, and it's longer to go from here to here. By the time you get to here, the ball's flying majority of the time. So when we're talking about falling back onto something, we're minimizing, and this is what we're doing right now. So spread out, make sure everything's in a straight line. And when you're doing these drills for the next month or two, right, and you're working on you know what, until you like get this, don't really do anything else anyway. It's a bloody waste of time. So anytime to start off with, you can uh, self-analyze, so make sure one, two, all right, three. Because what you'll do is you'll fall back in the old habits because you don't. Because I see it all the time. Like I'll be talking to some kid. I'm like, do this, do this, do this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next swing, back to this. I'm like, mate, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because you just train to set up the way you've been setting up. So we're practicing this too. In the game, you can do what you want. But like I said, this is something that when you feel you're getting beat in a box, which happens, happens very rarely to me in my career because I made adjustments. But um, to tell you a story that my freshman year in college, we're facing a guy, we're in a junior college world series, we're facing a guy who hasn't given up a run all year, played for Rhode Island. And he's throwing about 94. And I think I was the number three hitter. And first, I think first pitch, he threw one at me, right? And I swung through it. And it's unusual, like that was an unusual feeling for me because I very rarely swung him into the fastball. I didn't panic, stepped out, all right? And shortened everything up. All right, shortened everything. Made that adjustment, next pitch, fastball, bang. Double off the wall, we score first run. We go on and win the Junior College World Series. I get the end of the season. Anyway, moral of the story is swing adjustments. But if I don't make that adjustment right there, and I just keep swinging the way I was, I probably would strike out. Right, and if I didn't make the adjustment, the next at bat, strike out again. But that's about making adjustments within the at bat. If you feel like you're overpowered and you don't have anything to fall back on, then you're in a world of trouble. But if you feel like you're overpowered and you know you've got something to fall back on, you know how to make those adjustments. All right, helps you to relax in the box. You don't panic. So, okay, so I've got a bit of giddy up. Or maybe like you're pitching, uh, maybe you're playing them at this time, where they, you've got shadows. Right, so the guy might be only throwing to 85 to 88, but those shadows might make it 90. It's just uh, going from the uh, sun to the shadows. So it makes a difference, because you can't see it properly, it gets up and you quick. But anyway, so that's why we're doing this, your foundation of full back up. So you spread out again. All right. Inside balls your feet, check your feet, make sure they're straight. Really straight. And you're comfortable, you know. Take the bat out here. Come out in front of you. Drop it. And catch it. Just stay there. Do it again. Relax. Just drop it. Catch it. See where your hand's out. And again. Relax. Hold on. Drop the bat. Take your arms out. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Alright, get that in. Drop the bat. Catch it. Right Have a look where your hands are, right there. So to this, that's pretty good. It's, so that's where essentially we're gonna start. Then drop it, catch it, relax. I mean, make sure everything's relaxed, everything's loose. Nothing's tight. You're not gripping about you're not gripping about hard at all. Everything's nice and loose when you're here, nice and loose. All right, everything's loose. Don't catch it, everything's loose. And then you're gripping the back. Have a look where your hands are. That's where you want to start if you get in a, that situation. And again. Drop it, relax, catch it, relax. Now have a look where your hands are, so you recognize where they are. And again, relax, drop it, catch it. And have a look where your hands are. So that's essentially, so normally a lot of you guys that, you know, want to do this stuff, they're going to help you when the guys bring it. Even big leaguers, I do that. 
I think uh, what you got to understand is if, you, if you're going to copy somebody's mechanics, you have to understand what they're thinking when they hit their approach. So a lot of guys that have that swing, right? You know, major league swing is for a lot of guys like Peach. What I forget to tell you is that they're sitting on a hanging slider. Right, that pitch is designed to hit a hanging slider. So it's come down to you. Stop. You hear that over center field? If you don't know that, that's a big piece of information out from the equation from those solar mechanics. So if you're in a game and you've got a hanging slider swing and that pitch is not throwing you hanging sliders, you're striking out three times a game. That swing, you ain't gonna hit up and in. The far swing you ain't gonna hit down the way. This is a one-dimensional swing designed to hit those. Like blow, floppy up, up in the zone. So, but that swing type is good if you get that pitch. A lot of mechanics design designed to hit certain pitches. But what I'm gonna teach you is how to hit every pitch. So you can decide yourself what you want to use. But this, you feel like this one you can hit any pitch with. So it's like you got two strikes and you don't know what's coming. Right? This is what this is what you're gonna get into, right? Because you can't be affording to guess. Right? Living in the big leagues, they'll guess slider with uh, two strikes. If they don't get it, they'll have to strike up. They'll just um, wear it, you know? But not a lot of people know that. That's what they forget to tell you when they teach those mechanics, right? In state league, you can't afford to do that. You're getting up there, two strikes, and you're guessing, and you don't get your pitch, and you just, whatever. Sometimes you get pitches that are on, and you don't know what's coming first pitch, second pitch, third pitch, because they're just bringing it, right? And you can't guess anything. So you're going to get back into something like this, straight off the bat, right? So you don't know what's coming, you've got a good pitcher on there. I don't know whoever the best pitcher is in the league these days. State league umpire's giving you your righty, like, you know, a little bit off the edge, which they don't do in the major leagues as well. That's another factor you got to bring in. And even that much off the outside edge, which is a state league guy, even sometimes I'll give that much. Good luck trying to hit that with that bloody home run swing. You know what I mean? And low. Now, state league umpires might call something like this. How are you going to hit that? What are you going to do? You're going to, you're going to, um, all right, that's what I'll do. I'll teach you how to hit that. Bit. Relax. Drop your bat out in front. All right, drop it and catch it. Drop it, catch it, there you go. Now from here, <coughs> a little uh, exercise called um, hips to uh, teach you a little bit of turn. Hit the forehand. So what we're going to do is slowly, I'm going to say turn, and then swing. So I'll be like, turn, keep your bat back, turn, on your toe. Run right on the toe, yep. Turn all the way on your toe. See how my heel is, what do you call that, uh, parallel? All right. And switch. Now switch. Okay. Step out. Step back in. One, two, three. Feet are straight. Spread out. Catch the bat. Relax. Turn. All right. Everyone check their back foot. What's your name? Brad. Are you turned? Keep going. Keep going. Now have a look at your back foot. Lift your um, lift up on your toes. Have a look at your back foot and have a look at have a look at that. Alright, now start again, do again. Step in. Alright. Relax, drop the bat, relax. Turn. Have a look at your foot. Is it where it needs to be? Good fella. Good fella. Straight your stance up. And again. Step out, step back in. Alright, turn. Have a look at your back foot. That's better. One more. Again, step out, step back in. So this is something that, um, so you teach yourself how to hit spread out. Turn, have a look, have a look at your back foot. Up on your toes. As much as you can. Because in real time you're going to have uh, the momentum to get you up on your toes. So when you're hitting, cool. all right, cool. Now from there, 
just about to back in. All right, so you're going to go on my tempo. We start off a bit slower. I'm going to say turn and swing. Turn, so we are progressively faster. So um, you turn, swing, turn, and swing, turn, and swing, and I'll, I'll speed it up a bit. All right, so you hold that spot, and uh, we'll keep going. So um, step out. Step back in. All right, turn, swing. Stay balanced. Cool. Step out, step back in. Turn, look at your back foot. All good, swing. Okay, now hold that spot. Now get just um, get back in your stance, like you're here. Don't go, don't step out again. All right, turn, swing. Yeah, back in, back. Turn, swing. Okay, again. Quickly, quick, quick out, back, get back to the thing. Turn, swing. All right, again, turn, swing. Turn, swing. Turn, swing. Turn, swing. Quicker, turn, swing. Turn, swing. Again, turn, swing. Quicker, turn, swing. Boom, ready, hit like this. Boom. I can't, we've got to blitz now, I can't swing. All right, again, turn, swing. Like when you turn, like you want to keep your hands back, right? You can take tough pitches. So you get a, like a nasty slide, huh? and you're not thinking, I was able to do this. And the pitch is throwing the perfect pitch. Slide it down away, but it's like an inch off the plate. And you're just like, no. It's the only way you can take that pitch. If you're arming it, you're going to swing. You can't hold up your momentum. That's the only way you can hold up your momentum. It's the three. Boom. No. And also, it's how you keep your hands back. So if you get full, boom. But you keep your hands back, and then you go, bang. And that's when you get out in front of a hanging pit and kick it down the line. Kick on the foot. All right, so that's why we're doing this. Take it. All right, quicker. So what we want to do, ideally, is we want to get to that point where you're turning on your toes, so that you're going to be turning so fast that you're going to get up on your feet. So you when you watch Major League hit, all right, they're up here. Okay? That's the speed of the turn. Okay, you can't do it really. It's harder to do in slow motion because it's a lot of pressure on your toes. All right? So that's what we're getting to now. So, um, we'll speed up a bit, stay balanced, All right, turn, swing, swing hard, turn, swing, keep your hands back, sometimes I'm not going to say swing, okay, sometimes I'm going to say turn, alright, turn, swing, turn, alright, and who, who we get out there, ten push ups, hey, go on, <laughs> okay, old school, wait for you, wait for you, Team mate to it. There you go. Good forward push up. <laughs> the dojo. Hey! hey. Alright, back up. Push. Turn swing. Quick up. Turn. Swing. Swing hard. Swing hard too. And keep your head down. And whoever's got a hat tucking in front of you. Yeah. 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 When you finish the swing, get down there. Alright, anyone's got a hat anyway. If you don't have a hat, you get a ball there. Go grab the swing. Yeah, I know. Come close to the swing. Save a lot of time, you know, you can hit down the wherever. But I'd just be telling you, each one of you, why you can't do this. Everyone going? It's a focal point. After you finish the swing, so when I tell you to swing, swing hard. Alright? Swing hard as you can, just being able to take that off. You're a lefty, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sorry, my bad. You guys ain't hit you. Put it out. You never hit it. Yeah. Side to side, yeah. Oh, no? My bad. You hit me. My bad. Yeah. Like a home plate. In front of home plate, you can imagine a home plate. My bad. There you go. About a meter in front of home plate. So as hard as you can, um, whilst able, uh, being able to put the, keep your head down. And uh, seeing, seeing the hat after you swing. Alright, so relax, get your stance. Let's start slow again. Turn. Swing. Hard. Too hard. Let me have these whips. I'll suck it up for you guys. I'm going to suck it up. It's going to hurt. Alright. Turn. Swing. Alright. 
Do you still swing hard? All right, what do you guys do? Turn. Uh. All right. Turn. Oh, I should hit me again. All right, start again. Woo! Lift that. Oh, sorry, it's a Turn. Swing. Get some wind. If you can't hear the wind, you're not swinging hard. Turn. Swing. There you go. Better. Turn. Swing. Turn. Swing. Turn, swing. Turn, swing. Turn, swing. Quicker, quicker. Turn, swing. All right, so we're getting it closer to that. It's like a game now. Boom, boom. Turn, boom. Like that. That's what we'll get to. All right, a couple more. This time I may, I will, I will mix in a turn without a swing, so don't cheat. Turn, swing. So don't think. Listen to my voice. Turn, swing. Keep your hands back. All right, a lot of you guys turning. All right, that means you're like you're not turning properly. You're turning with your, you're turning with your upper half, not your lower half. All right, so turn, keep your hands back. Swing. Turn, swing. Turn, swing. Turn, swing. Turn. All right, wait, so who, everyone's got their hands back. Good. There you go, so you get your hands back. So you take a pitch. Alright, you get to, oh, no, like, oh, no, no, alright, but you're not thinking, so that's how you, that's how you take a nasty slider, so here, alright, come on, you, um, you ready, you're not thinking, you're not thinking about any pitch, just two strikes, right, come on, give it to me, oh, oh no, right there, ball, take a walk, that's how you do that, right there, ready again, turn, swing, turn, Yeah. That's good, that's good. So your hands back now. There you go. Get that turn swing tempo quicker. So you need closer to it almost being in tune, right? So you turn swing. Turn swing. Turn swing. Right. Turn, swing. I'm going to speed it up aggressively. Swing hard. So you want to hear that wind? Whip it. Turn, swing. Whip. Boom. There you go. Head on that and make sure you're looking at your hat. Turn, swing. Everyone's got their eye on the hat. At the end of, at the end of this swing, I want you to hold your uh, folly through. All right, and I want to make sure you're looking at your hat. Turn, swing, hold, hit at the end there. All up, Alice. What's your name? Josh. Joe? Josh. Josh. All right, so you're a bad foot, footwork or over swing. All right, again. Hold your poly through, look at the hat. Turn, swing. Better? Hold your poly through. All right, good. And again, hold your poly through, look at the hat. Turn, swing, hold it. Good, everyone's keeping balance. Good, and again, one more. Turn, swing. That's that swing right there, it's gonna have, boom. Where'd it go? That was the best. You know, I need to see where it went. All right, okay, we'll speed it up again. One more, one more. Turn, swing. Bring it hard. Turn, swing. Back, yep. You don't have to, you don't have to hold the polish in this one. Swing up. Turn, swing. Turn, swing. Turn, swing. Turn, swing. Now on your own, turn, swing, because I can't say it in the speed that you need to do it. So boom, boom, like that. Turn the swing. There you go. Do it on your own. Boom, boom. Turn, swing, turn, swing, turn, swing, like that. That's it. There you go. You got it. Turn, swing, turn, swing. Boom, boom. Do it on your own time, there you go. You do it on your own time, there you go. Just make sure you turn first and swing. Then you turn, swing, boom. There you go. When you get that, you'll start feeling your batting speed pick up. Stay balanced. Stay balanced. You guys tuck it out already, eh? <laughs> Couple more. Too much chips on. Yeah, straighten out the stance. That's so you can't see if you guys are Couple more. There you go, quick up. Quick will you turn? Uh, decrease the distance from being too close. Kaboom. There you go. There you go. Quicker. Don't try and over to lift. Alright. Alright. Cool. Alright. Good. You guys done already, aren't you? <laughs> and we're learning it together on group rather than individual. I think that's really important. So there's a, there's a group message, you know what I'm saying?